Hello, welcome to Leuven. Welcome to, well, what is going to be the Gravel World Championships tomorrow as I film this. But before I go and cover that race, I am covering a little bit of tech because I'm here to test not so much the bikes out, but the wheels that are on these bikes. I'm here to check out Grava. Now, you may have heard of these people ooh, probably two years ago because they released a set of wheels or showcased a set of wheels that inflate and deflate the tyre pressure automatically. Well, two years on, they've been refined and they're being released. And I've got my grubby mitts on a set. I'm going to throw some kit on, go and test it out myself, but I'm also going to chat to the engineer. So let's delve into the video. Let's crack on and find out all about Grava. Okay, before we get to the testing of the product itself, then fancy, uh, do we class it as wheels or a hub or a system? Yeah. Well, technically it's a system. It are hubs and we sell it as a wheel set. Okay, anyway, we're <laughs> with Luke. Am I pronouncing your name right? You're correct. Awesome. Tell us about the product. Tell us what it is. Yeah. Because people might, uh, might know what it is because you've been around a couple of years. Thank you very much. But yeah, so explain away. So Grava is an uh, adaptable tyre pressure system. Adaptable, can shift up and down. And it's a system. And why do we call it a system? There's two, um, yeah, two um, kinetic pumps placed in the hubs and they communicate with your head unit, which you control on your handlebar. On the handlebars, not, yeah. like, not the computer. No, 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 no. You can display your tire pressure, both front and rear wheel, on your bike computer, Garmin and Bahu, but you shift actually with sprint buttons. Okay. Um, so for example, I have my left to go minus half and right plus half a bar, that is. I can say that the system, uh, which you will be riding in a bit, um, it's quite interesting in that it generates its own air, it's a kinetic system, so you're not having any CO2 canisters in it, there's no motor in it. The only power that drives the pump is your power. There's a very small battery in the system, which is used to connect your uh, app, Garmin right, and yeah, Wahoo, yeah. that's it. What tire pressure can we go from okay. to and how often? Yeah, so, well, to start with, it's an endless system because it's kinetic and driven by the rotation of your wheel. Yeah. You can use it infinitely. All right. Yeah. So there's a 48 hour activity battery in there for the wireless connections. So if you can, yeah, if you have it in you to ride for that oh, yeah. long, <laughs> then you can continue to yeah. use and increase and decrease your tire pressure while riding. Um, that's one. The lowest pressure depends a bit on if you're riding on, on road, gravel or mountain bike. Um, we are able to set the limits by ourselves. So today you'll ride the new gravel version yep. and the lowest point is 1.4 bar. Okay. And you can go to 3.4 bar. All right. Yeah. And can you adjust that like half a bar at a time, full bar at a time? What can you adjust Good it question, by? Good question, Dave. Um, you decide that, and you decide that in our Android or iOS app. Okay. Um, I have them at minus half or plus half, but yeah. if you would like to have 0.1 or 0.2, or even 0.2 on the lower end and then make increments of one, that's yeah. completely up to you. Can you adjust the front and the rear independently? You can set um, an offset. Yeah. So we advise to have 0.2 more in the back yeah uh, and if you if you don't want that then that's also fine but while riding you cannot uh, you cannot no, no, no. Uh, manually right uh, so if make it goes down half a bar on the front it's half a bar on the rear and vice versa oh, yeah, 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 exa yeah, yeah yeah exactly exactly well you can change constantly yeah um uh, uh, deflation is instantly right. but inflation's so, every kilometer yeah if you're riding these 38 uh, millimeters or these what is it 2.1 inch mountain biking tires. Yes. Um, on the gravel tires, we are now at 0 0.8 bar per kilometer. Yeah. Right. I, I see your calculation being made. Okay. So the hub can get enough kinetic energy for 0 0.8. Is that about, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It, can we buy this product as a hub, or does it come as a wheel system? We would have loved uh, to sell it as a, as a hub to, for example, specialty wheel makers. But the truth is, to start a company in the gravel, oh, sorry, in the cycling industry, um, it's not an easy, it's not an easy job. But it does require a lot of service and a very big sales network. And we want to have a product 
as affordable as possible, although it will not be cheap in euros or dollars at start. It will be, yeah, we, we have Go to... Go on, tell us the price. Yeah, so it comes uh, with Reserve GR, uh, sorry, with Reserve Wheels 4044 GR at 3,900 euros. Okay. Yeah, and the DT Swiss is an exclusive for you, Dave. And here we go, these lovely ones here, uh, the yeah. GRC 500s. Yeah, they will be three, uh, sorry, 4,499. Um, the original wheel set is 3,000 euros, so you're adding 1,500 euros, yeah. which is a lot of money, but I can tell you that most of that money is actually spent on parts. Yeah. Um, but it does give you a hell of uh, performance and comfort, so uh, I hope you'll like it. Right, really? right. Let's find out <laughs> for real because I'm going to get out on the system now. Thank you. That's been very informative. I hope it helps. It is. It's getting a bit nippy here in Leuven now, but it is ride time. <laughs> Going through the train station. We are bashing around the route, as I said. It's not ideal for testing this system out, but it's given me a rough idea. Right, I am back. I've had a spin, a quick spin around the city because the light is fading fast and we got out a bit late. But I think I've got enough of a ride in to give me a rough idea of what this system is like. And I've got to say, I can see a hell of a lot of potential there for gravel racing, which, let's be honest, has changed immensely over the past couple of years from the Gravel family feel, you know what I mean. Stopping off having a few bevies, not worrying about being the fastest out there. To what it is now, which is an absolute craziness, especially here at the Worlds at the moment. And a very much a professional sport where results matters to get the sponsorship, to get the wins. This system will definitely be something that will interest a lot of gravel riders. Let's be honest, marginal gains is going to enter gravel riding and this is definitely going to be a marginal gain. As for performance out on the road at the moment, I did have a little bit of a problem with my first setup that I was using. We jumped on a different setup, no problem whatsoever. Right, we've just worked out what was wrong with my, uh, my bike, my first bike that I had to swap over to. And it was the, uh, we're using the pre-production, what's it called again? Electronic handlebar unit. Electronic handlebar unit. The other one did work. Speed-wise of the inflation and the deflation actually differs depending on how fast you go because it's done for inflating over 100 metres. So like one kilometre, you're going to get one bar of pressure inflated. So if you're going slow, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of while to get up to your desired tyre pressure. Deflation doesn't happen immediately. It takes a little bit of a beat to then go down. The heads up unit, I really like, easy to read. No waffle there, no big graphics. It literally shows you the tyre pressure you're on, the tyre pressure that you're aiming at, and then the green light flashes when you got to it. You can't really hear it inflate out on the road. If you're on a quiet bit of road, you can kind of hear that motor whirring away a little bit. And you will be glad to hear that there doesn't feel, or you can't notice any drag, let's be honest. No one's going to feel what is claimed to be like a 4 watt reduction in performance from a hub. There's no way you can feel that. Heck, if you want to grab them 4 watts of uh, reduction back somewhere, well, just buy some fancy pulley wheels or a ceramic bottom bracket. Heck, even some helmets claim them games, don't they? Form-wise, you could easily be mistaken to think that it's a standard normal hub. It looks pretty much like a, just a big chunky hub. The graphics on there at the moment will be changed for the production ones. At the moment, it's just a vinyl sticker. They're going to anodize them. Apparently, it's being done right now for the production lot. One thing that is of interest to people is that the disc brake rotors are actually proprietary to the wheels. They've had to rejig where you can bolt them on so they've got the space for the, for the pump and the motor inside there. So yes, the proprietary disc brakes are made by Galfer, if I remember rightly. I think it's a Spanish company. They work all right as well with a red group set that I was using today. Buttons. Now they say they have used classified buttons and I've got to say, they don't feel as clicky, as positive as SRAM or Shimano. That's something that I think they're going to have to work on. Now, I preferred my buttons 
mounted on the second bike that I rode with the uh, click going upwards, so basically like that rather than like that, or at least for when you're riding on the hoods, riding on the drops the other way around. So in the future, I would really just like to see sort of a blatant rip off of a SRAM blip button, to be honest. Maintenance wise, I got no clue because it's a, literally a first ride, rapid ride review. All in all though, I am blooming excited about this product. It's definitely got a lot going for it. It's definitely a product for the here and now gravel scene for sure. I will be very surprised if we don't see a load of these on pro gravel bikes at the World Cup rounds at the big gravel races across the world next year when it gets released. Yes, it's pricey, but heck, a lot of bike bits are pricey, aren't they? This isn't a working man's sport anymore by any stretch of the imagination, is it? And let's be honest, there's brands out there selling wheels at this sort of price without an inflation system at all. And all in all, I'm looking forward to getting out on it more because I'm going to harass the guys, see if they can lend me a set for a little while. Because, yeah, a quick hour spin. Give me a good idea, but didn't give me a solid idea. Right, let me know what you think in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube. If not, shoot us a message via the social media site. And as always, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding.